Okay, so Sister Kay here again, and I've gone on a Tiawaki shopping spree to Dollar Tree, and I wanted to show you some of the things I got. Get you thinking about, because you probably have a Dollar Tree near you, and you got 20 bucks to spare for survival supplies, so let's take a look at what you can get. Okay, so right here, I have a pair of safety goggles. These were like a dollar, and even if they're not super de duper -de strong plastic, uh, for chemicals and stuff, it really doesn't matter. So they're always a good idea to have around. Also, if you're peeling onions. Got toothbrush, hygiene stuff, a dollar for two, cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, this particular thing is a hot cold pack. Um, you always wanna think first aid for, for grid down because stuff happens and first aid issues get bigger. And so you wanna take care of them. So this will be good for sore muscles and things that you don't normally use um, when it's in an emergency. Um, got some sponges for washing dishes. Again, two for a dollar cheap. Um, these are really good buy sharpening stones. They had a bunch. It's kind of heavy, but here's a tip, guys. When the grid's down, you got to sharpen stuff. You need these things at any time when you use matches or anything like that. Uh, I got some clothes pins because yes, you can hang your clothes from trees or whatever to get them dry, but having a line and being able to hang them out is a, an effective way of drying your clothes. This is hydrogen peroxide. You can treat all sorts of stuff with that. You can brush your teeth with it. Um, you can dye your hair with it. It's a dollar. Uh, I got milk and magnesia because when you're off your diet when you're in an emergency situation when you're under stress your guts don't always want to work normally and so having something like milk of magnesia is a good idea uh, to deal with the issues that come with emergency situations now these things are personal items so they don't really count but they're still a good deal it's a dollar for a dog bowl we have a problem with people using our dishes for dog bowls, so that's not a that's not a good thing. And then this last thing is not the emergency. This is for this week. This is Sukkot stuff. These things are a ton of fun for the kids. So when you're at Sukkot, if you don't have things for them to do, um, these glow sticks are a whole lot of fun and keep them amused for hours. Plus, it helps you know where your kids are in the dark. So think about that for Tiawaki. You can tie one of those to your kid if you're walking or something, and yes, other people can see them, but you can also see them, and uh, if that's a concern. Oh, and the Dollar Tree trip, all that stuff was only $22, and so if you were just buying emergency supplies, you could have cut out the dog bowls and the mothballs, and it would have been cheaper, but I think even mothballs are flammable, so they might be good for starters. Anyway, hope that helps spur you. Shalom!